Let's go over placing a 12 lead EKG. You might hear both ECG and EKG used when talking about heart monitoring and wonder, is there even a difference? And the answer is no, they're the exact same thing. ECG stands for electrocardiogram, the English spelling, and EKG comes from the German spelling electrocardiogram where K replaces the C. We often use EKG in healthcare to avoid confusion with EEG, which is used for assessing brain activity, not the heart. But again, both are correct and used interchangeably. All right, now let's walk through a quick difference between five lead and a 12 lead. Five lead is typically used for continuous monitoring or telemetry. This is the placement of four limb leads and one on the chest typically V1. These leads are all placed on the torso, where a 12 lead is used for a momentary snapshot view often needed for a cardiac workup or chest pain. So remember, a five lead is continuous monitoring, where a 12 lead is a snapshot in time. A 12 lead is the placement of the four limb leads and V1, just like a five lead, but for a 12 lead, we add on V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. Limb leads are commonly placed on the upper extremities and lower extremities as well for 12 lead EKGs. Though they can be placed on the torso, if the patient is mobile and does not have restrictions of movement, the limbs are commonly used. Let's talk about the difference between electrodes and leads. Electrodes are the stickers or buttons that the leads or wires will connect to. These stick to the chest and body where the leads are the wires or clips that will snap onto the electrodes or stickers. Before we begin placement, it's important to know that you don't wanna place these directly over bone. And placement on a mannequin will look a little different than on a real patient. On mannequins, they typically have a flat surface, but on real patients, the location of the landmarks can vary based on body type, weight, and other factors. All right, let's start with V1 and V2. These will go on the right and left side of the sternum at the fourth intercostal space. Now we're gonna skip to V4. The V4 electrode is placed at the fifth intercostal space along the left midclavicular line. So think of where the clavicle is. It's the middle of that, so basically the middle of the patient's left chest. So midclavicular line, think middle of the left chest. A little pro tip is that if your patient has a lot of breast tissue, the V3, V4, and V5 lead will likely be placed under the breast. Again, we're gonna skip to the V6 lead. V6 is placed level with V4. This is the left mid axillary line. This is straight down from the patient's axilla. Now let's place those leads we skipped. So V3 is placed midway between V2 and V4, and V5 is placed in line between V4 and V6. Now let's get ready to place the four limb leads. We call these limb leads because they're placed on the limbs. You can look at the lead limbs for placement to identify left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. All right, let's start with the arm leads. These can be placed on the upper arm, forearm, or wrists. For this placement, we will place them between the shoulder and the elbow. They should be positioned symmetrically on both sides, ideally on the upper bicep or deltoid for easy access above the patient's gown. Leg leads can be positioned anywhere on the legs, from the thighs or the ankles. Again, make sure they're symmetrical and avoid placement over bone. All right, now you can run your 12 lead EKG. You can check out more step-by-step -step nursing skills here. Happy studying future nurses.